This is an exercise which is going to work on your breathing and your rib cage. It's particularly good to do when you're nervous, when you're stressed, if you have an exam, if you've got something that you're a little bit um, uncomfortable about doing, and if you're feeling perhaps that you've, you've been unwell and you've had problems with chest infection, it's a great way of rehabilitating your, your rib cage and your lungs again. So again, you uh, can wear shoes or be barefoot and I want you to stand where you have space with to have your arms around you because we're going to swing our arms and we're going to have an attitude of being back in the playground again. So feeling a bit childlike um, and not being so controlling and um, letting things be a little bit. So first what I want you to do is stand up and just slouch. And in that position, I want you to take as deep breath as you can in that position and breathe out. It's hard, isn't it? It's really hard to do that when you're slouching. And imagine how often you do that during the day and how much more you could breathe if you stood more upright or sat more upright. Now, in this position, I want you to take a breath in again and breathe out. That's lovely. Try and remember what that was like. We'll compare it afterwards. So we're going to start by just swinging our arms very gently from side to side. Just let them swing and be gentle. What you're doing here is also twisting your spine. Hold your core in so you are not doing any damage to your back. You're protecting your back. I want you to keep breathing here in your own tempo. Breathe in. Breathe out. Really use your mouth here because it's a great way of getting rid of stress. So now we're working on the lower part of your lungs. Now we're going to go a little bit higher up. So just keep your elbows bent. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the twist in the middle of your back. Feel how and you're actually warming up your spine here. Breathe in and breathe out. You're getting warm now. And go a little bit higher up. Hold the hands up. And you will feel it now, the top of your ribcage. Allow your hips to move as well, but only comfortably. Breathe in again and breathe out. Can you feel how you can take a bigger and a deeper breath here, higher up into your ribcage and go a little bit higher up again. Now you're at the top of your lungs. Fantastic to do before an exam and before an interview and go all the way up. A little bit like a spiral. That's lovely. And stop there and just reach up to the ceiling. Breathe into the side of your rib. And let go and take the other one up. Breathe in. Breathe in here. And let go. Stretch your arm forward. Breathe in. And back. Stretch forward. And breathe out. And go one forward and one back. And you're twisting your rib cage here, it's twisting your lungs, really getting some air and blood flow through into this vital part of your body. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And now, very gently, just raise your arms up and back. So just swing your arms, and this is where the playground comes in, and swing up and down, and up, and down. That's lovely. And at the end of this, come back to where you started. And I want you to take a breath in again. Breathe in, and breathe out. And just note, just pay attention to if you feel that you're breathing in further, higher, deeper, and longer as well. Do one more, breathe in, into your rib cage and out. That's lovely. I can recommend you to do this often if you have problems with breathing, if you know you hyperventilate a lot and you have breathing issues. It's an excellent exercise to do on a daily basis.